Hi, today we are going to make Minora. Inflate a balloon leaving about 5 inch flat tail. In this example I use silver or grey color balloon. Twist a chain of first two soft about 1 inch bubbles. Lock all ends of the first two bubbles in one lock twist. This sculpture is going to be quite big in size. Twist third about 3 inch bubble. Twist a chain of the next two soft about 1 inch bubbles. Lock ends of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. Now we are going to twist them six about four five inch bubble. The size is up to you. It could be different size if you want. Twist a chain of the next two soft about one inch bubbles. And then again we lock ends of the last two small bubbles in one lock twist. Now we have to twist the ninth bubble of the same size uh, as the sixth bubble. It's important to make both sides of uh, our sculpture of the same size. Twist a chain of the next two soft about one inch bubbles. Lock the ends of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. And then we have to twist the next, the twelfth bubble of the same size as uh, the third bubble. And again, it is very important to make the same size. Lock both ends of the chain of the last twelve or the first twelve bubbles in one lock twist. And then we twist the thirteenth bubble. In this example, it should be less than three inch size, like two and a half inch bubble. Basic proportion of a right triangle is three, four, five, as I remember from geometry lessons. Well, anyway, let's lock both ends of the chain of the last seven bubbles in one lock twist. We have made two connected triangles. Not exactly right triangles, but very close to it. All right. The sculpture will have umbrella-like shape. I think it's okay. Now we're going to use second balloon. Inflate the second balloon, leaving about four inch flat tail. Tie the nozzle of the second balloon between the fourth and fifth bubbles of the first balloon. Twist the first about three inch bubble. Twist a chain of the next two soft about one inch bubbles. Lock both ends of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. Now we have to measure the size of the fourth bubble. So let's see, it is about eight, nine inch long. We can bend the balloon and make the bubble longer. Okay, let's twist the fourteenth about three inch long bubble of the first balloon. And then we twist the fourth about nine inch bubble of the second balloon. Lock the free end of the fourth uh, bubble of the second balloon with the uh, free end of the fourteenth bubble of the first balloon. Okay, twist the chain of the next two soft about one inch bubbles. Lock all ends of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. To make it easier, let's cut off the rest of the first balloon. We don't need it. We can make the same sculpture working bubbles in a different uh, order. Also, if you make different size bubbles, you may need less or more balloons to make the sculpture. Now we have to twist the seventh bubble of the same size as we uh, made the fourth bubble. Then we twist a chain of the next two soft about one inch bubbles. Lock all ends of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. Twist the tenth about three inch bubble. Lock the free end of the tenth bubble of the second balloon between the tenth and eleventh bubbles of the first balloon. The left and right side of our sculpture look exactly the same and so front and back side of the sculpture look the same. Let's cut off the rest of the second balloon, tie off the end, hide it between bubbles. We are going to work the rest of our sculpture pretty much in the same fashion. The only difference is um, we have to increase 
size of each following long bubble. Inflate the third balloon leaving about 3 inch flat tail. Tie the nozzle of the third balloon between the second and third bubbles of the second balloon. Twist the first about 3 inch bubble. Uh, twist the chain of the next two soft about 1 inch bubbles. Lock ends of uh, last two bubbles in one lock twist. And now we have to measure the size of the fourth bubble. I think it's gonna be about 12 inch long. Also, uh, we have to check if we have enough balloon to make the left side as well. Looks like I have enough balloon. So let's twist the fourth bubble. Then a chain of the next two soft about one inch bubbles. Lock ends of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. If your balloon is not long enough, you can use it to make short uh, bubbles of the sculpture. And then use different balloon to make the long uh, bubbles of the sculpture. In this example, it looks like uh, uh, the rest of the balloon a bit shorter than I need. Still, it's enough to make the long part. So, let's do it. Twist the seventh bubble the same size as uh, the fourth bubble. Also, if you didn't cut the rest of the first balloon, you can use it now here to connect balloons. In this example, I can twist a chain of uh, next two soft one inch bubbles and lock uh, the ends in one lock twist. I rather twist uh, eight about three inch bubble and lock the free end of the eighth bubble of the third balloon between the small bubbles of the second balloon. Inflate the fourth balloon, leaving about 3 inch flat tail. We didn't make two small bubbles on the left side of the sculpture. So, let's make it. Twist a chain of the first two soft about 1 inch bubbles. Lock all ends of the first two bubbles in one lock twist. Attach the first two bubbles of the fourth balloon between the seventh and eighth bubbles of the third balloon. Twist the third about three inch bubble. Twist a chain of the next two soft about one inch bubbles. Lock all ends of uh, the last two bubbles in one lock twist. Now we have to measure the size of the long six bubble. I think it is about 16, 18 inch long. So let's twist the six bubble. Twist the chain of the next two soft about one inch bubbles. Lock all ends of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. I'm going to use the rest of this balloon to make the center parts of uh, the sculpture. Let's twist the next um, ninth about 3 inch long bubble. Lock the free end of the ninth bubble of the fourth balloon between the I think it's the fifth and sixth bubbles of the third balloon. The small bubbles uh, at the center of the sculpture. Twist the tenth about 3 inch bubble. Lock the free end of the tenth bubble of the fourth balloon between the fifth and the sixth bubbles of the second balloon. Okay. Uh, cut off the rest of the fourth balloon and tie off the end. As you can see, we need uh, one more balloon to finish the sculpture. Inflate the fifth balloon leaving about three inch flat tail. Tie the nozzle of the fifth balloon between the second and third bubbles of the third balloon. And again, it could be different uh, number of bubbles or different uh, balloon, depending on the order you work. Twist the first three inch bubble. Twist the chain of the next two soft about one inch bubbles. Lock all ends of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. The next step we have to twist the fourth long bubble. The same size as we twisted the sixth bubble of the fourth balloon. Lock the free end of the fourth bubble of the fifth balloon between the seven and the eight bubbles of the fourth balloon. All right. Now let's fix all bubbles in proper positions. Basically, we have made already the sculpture.
menorah. We can use the rest of the fifth balloon to attach the sculpture to a base. And for the base we can use different sculptures. Uh, the simplest I guess would be to use threefold head. In this example I'm not going to attach it to any base. Uh, let's uh, attach candles to menorah. We need total of nine candles for the sculpture. One long and uh, eight short candles. We attach candles uh, at the top of the sculpture between small bubbles. The long candle goes at the center and the short candles goes uh, on both sides of it. I'm going to first play this part of the video. I use the white balloons to make candles and um, red balloons to make the flame. Made the candles in the same way as um, uh, was described in previously published instruction. Uh, born or candle. Also there is another way to make candles um, using tulip twist. It's uh, described in again published previously instruction candle 2. Instead of uh, attaching the sculpture to the base as I mentioned before we can use sewing thread and the sticky tape to attach the sculpture menor to walls, um, windows, doors. There are many different designs of menorah. Most likely in some of the future instructions we will talk about this menorah sculpture again. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. Congratulations! We have made menorah. Hanukkah is a beautiful holiday. Um, I wish uh, happy Hanukkah to all people who celebrate it. Uh, Jewish or not. Art for Peace. Shalom, Eres Israel. Have fun and happy twisting.